Pivot tables are one of the most versatile features in Excel. They allow you to take data and distill it down to exactly what you want to know, and doing this in mere seconds, using processes that without might take you days or weeks to perform. A typical pivot table will begin using a tabular data set like this, and the user will go up and do something like insert pivot table, and it will pull this from this table. I see that the data has been selected, and I'd like to put the pivot table on a new worksheet. I'll hit OK. And from here, it could be just a matter of dragging and dropping. I'll place country in the columns, salespersons in the rows, and order amount in the values. Now I have a cross tabular structure where I can see the total sales by sales rep for any particular country. Although that was quick and easy, the results don't look as good as they probably should. But with just a few minutes of tweaking, we can make this look really good. For instance, I'll take the numbers, right click number format, I'll give it a number style, thousand separator, zero decimal places, I'll go up to design, give it a fancier color scheme, maybe do a little row banding, change the report layout, customize a heading, maybe even go up to view and turn off the grid lines and the headers, and my report is finished. Not difficult, but that was several clicks. What if I told you we could do most, if not all of that, with just two clicks? We'll start with a table. This will serve as our data set. And on the insert ribbon in the upper left corner, we have an option called recommended pivot tables. We'll give that a click, and a recommended pivot tables panel opens on the right side of the screen. Excel analyzes your data and produces what it believes to be useful reports, insights into your data. So we can see a sales by region and supplier, sales by cost and product, sales by supplier and product. If none of these options fit your needs, at the bottom, there's a link where we can see more recommended pivot tables. So here's sales by state and sales representative, sales by region, product, and supplier, Sales by region and product. This window is resizable, so you can stretch it out and see more of the recommended pivot table. If one of these looks like it has what you need, you can come down here and click either new sheet or existing sheet. If you choose existing sheet, then Excel wants to know where to put it on this existing sheet. So I could scroll over, click a cell to fill this, and choose insert. And now you can see I have my pivot table next to my data. I'll close the recommended pivot tables window, and this might serve as just a starting point. Like suppose I like the report, I just wish that the suppliers were listed down the side and the regions were listed across the top. Well then through standard pivot table operations, I could just move supplier down to the rows, regions into the columns, and have a different report. But a lot of the steps in formatting have been done for me. Returning to the data, if I click in a cell where my data exists, go up to recommended pivot tables, scroll down until I find the pivot table that I want, and in this case, I'll pick this one, and I'll choose new sheet. This will automatically place the pivot table on a new sheet with all of the formatting and the colors. So I might wanna still go up and customize my labels. I'll do this by going to design, report layout, and switching to the tabular form, and maybe change this heading from sum of sales to sales. But anything else like turning off the grid lines and turning off the headings, going up to view, this would still be left to you. Thanks for watching, and remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.